Did you know you have the power to change your life? It all depends on your beliefs. If you have limiting beliefs, you limit yourself. I'm Becky Beach, and I'm here to help you overcome your limiting beliefs so you can design your dream life. This is the Becky Beach Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Becky Beach Show. I'm Becky Beach, and today's guest is Brittany Lawn. She's the queen of evergreen. Thanks so much for being here, Brittany. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Yeah, like you're like a good AI expert. Is that right? And you have like a, a membership called AI Copy Club. Yep, that's right. So how did you get started with AI? So I am a copywriter by nature. Um, and a few years, I think it was a few years ago now, I had started to try out some different AI tools. And I thought, you know what, this isn't really giving me what I want. It's taking me longer than I, you know, it's taking me longer to edit than it is to write my own stuff. So I thought, well, you know, this just isn't where it is. Maybe one day. And then November 2022 came along and Chad GPT came out and I thought, oh, I'll try it again. I'll, I'll just see, you know, if it's imp- if AI has improved at all since I tried last time. And oh my gosh, it blew my mind to the point that I was like, this is going to literally change everything about my business. Maybe not in the next six months, but certainly I think in the next 18 months. And so I thought, well, I can either embrace it or I can fear it. And so I said, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to lean into it. And so I started learning everything that I could and playing with it daily. <laughs> we had set up our business in such a way that I got to do a lot of content creation and I wasn't in the day to day all the time. And so I had that time and that space to really go deep and really figure out some things. Um, and that's really how it all started. I realized this is this is literally going to change everything like this is <laughs> the new this is just a new reality for us now. And I thought, well, let's run with it. Yeah, I so agree. Like today, I actually wrote a blog post using Chat GPT. Before I have to pay, I have to pay people like a hundred dollars or so to write, but I just wrote it, wrote it using Chat GPT in under an hour. You know, it was incredible. It saves a lot of time and a lot of money. I do see people feeling worried though that it's going to take over their job and stuff like that. And I, I mean, the, I get it because I felt that way too. I was like, all right, as a copywriter, <laughs> this is this is my livelihood. What am I going to do? Um, but I think as copywriters, as business owners, as whatever it is that you are, you have an opportunity now to lean into it and to use it to help you do whatever it is that you need to do faster um, and help your audience faster. It's just, it really has opened up a lot for us. Well, that's so true. Yes, you can also, you know, write books with it on for Amazon mm-hmm. and self-publish them and all, all kinds of things. It's just, just amazing. There's even people in my audience that are creating written PLR And then selling that with chat GPT, there's just so many ways you could make money. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I, so I think it's here to stay. It's just going to keep getting better and better. I remember what, like my first, you know, um, encounter with uh, AI, I had Jasper AI Mm -hmm. and I, and I kind of struggled to use it. It was really kind of difficult. It had like a learning curve. Mm -hmm. So I I was struggling. I was like paying a lot of money each month to use it. And then they rolled out, you know, um, Jasper art. And then they wanted $67 total for AI, AI art and that. So I was just using the art and I wasn't really impressed by it. Like the artwork wasn't really good. But then I stumbled upon Mid Journey. And that's like, it was, it was free for like a free trial at the time. I think now they took away the free trial. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I think it's like $10 now or something like that. It's it's definitely a very affordable uh, way to get started. Oh, yes. Yeah. So now I pay like $10 and you can also do so much with AI art. Mm-hmm. Like, like there was an like this big art contest, like I think a few years ago, and they said that the one that won was actually made by AI. Did you hear about that? I did, yeah. And I know that that's really controversial because, uh, especially for artists, they're like, they're you know, this is taking our work, and some of them are uh, where it like bases on that kind of artist. Um, but I, I think even for art, that this is probably the future. Yeah, so so agree. Like you can even make like coloring pages with with the Mid Journey, and and I've also made, you know, like illustration images for like a book. It's just mm-hmm. there's just so much you can do. You can also upload, you know, a, like a like a link of a photo, and then say, I want uh, I want you to do this to this photo, and then it will do it. It's just mm-hmm. so weird. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a little weird. It's hard to get used to, but it's um, it yeah, it just makes things so much faster. And like you said, there's so many ways you can make money with it. Uh, like with the book, for example, you could um, have it create an outline for you and then use the outline to record uh, an audio and then use the transcripts from the audio to actually structure the book um, and then have it make the edits, the proofreads, the 
uh, make sure the flow works and all of that. It's like an editor and a proofreader and it helps you write. And it, <laughs> it just, and then you can uh, ask it to come up with a marketing plan for your book too. It's just, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, every, every aspect of our businesses and our lives, I think will be impacted by this. Yeah, I could see why copywriters were starting to squirm, you know, because yeah. it's, it's chat GPT. But still, when I read what chat GPT writes, I'm like, oh, it's kind of flat. You know, it doesn't really have much personality. Yeah, so uh, I saw that at first, too, and I thought, OK, how can we make this different? So one of the things that we've started doing is going back and forth with it, asking it questions. Um, when it says, when it gives me something that I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't what I'm really looking for. I'll say, here's what I like about it. Here's what I don't like about it. Can you make some updates? Uh, and then with GPT-4, you can go a little bit deeper too, where it's definitely not as flat. And uh, so GPT-4, I've asked it to, you know, incorporate the emotion behind it. How is somebody feeling when they're experiencing X, Y, and Z? And um, I was doing a training the other day and I asked ChatGPT to make a few edits, a few updates. I said, you know, this is my audience. This is probably what they're feeling. And I said, I really want you to, to write an email that feels, that has that emotion to it. And it made me cry, like no joke. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting there blubbering. Yeah. I was like, how did a robot do this to me? And so uh, it it's definitely already coming uh, along with that. And then of course you can use transcripts also and um, you know say it in your way and then use the transcripts to have your voice, your tone, your personality without very many tweaks at all. Man, that, that was just amazing. I, I just can't, can't believe it could make you cry. <laughs> just, I know, amazing. I didn't expect that either. <laughs> yeah. So I remember I attended a session where you were scheduling your business using chat GPT. Yeah. Did you kind of yeah. like let us know about that? Yeah. So uh, I, um, I get really distracted <laughs> really easily. I have a toddler at home. I have just, mm -hmm. you know, normal life stuff, a few different brands. And so sometimes when I go to sit down to work, I'm like, I don't even know where to start because there's just so many things uh, that I could be doing. So many potential routes I could be taking right now. Where do I start? And mm -hmm. so that's when I started talking to ChatGPT about my schedule. And I said, okay, here's what I have to have happen. Like, you know, dropping my kiddo off at daycare or uh, doing, you know, certain meetings, things like that. So I said, here's what I have to have. Here's what would be nice to have. Um, and then here are specific parameters. For example, typically between 2 to 4 p.m., I don't work a lot because I'm tired because my energy is low. I have type 2 diabetes. So I know in the morning I need to have protein from two to 4 PM, if I'm doing stuff that's like heavy thinking or heavy creativity stuff, usually that doesn't work for me. So I asked it to uh, create a schedule for me Monday through Thursday, because we take Fridays off and uh, really planning what that could look like based on my needs, uh, based on what needs to happen on my calendar and also the things that need to get done. And so then it creates a schedule for me based on that. And it just is one less thing I have to think about and go back and forth on. It reduces decision fatigue and I ask it to be efficient. And so it's probably way more efficient than I would be on my own. <laughs> yeah. It's like having your own, your own virtual assistant or something yeah. like that, you know, but, but you don't have to pay it that much. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. So how much is it for, for chat GBT four? So you can do the free version has GPT 3.5. And then the paid version, which is $20 a month, has GPT-4 and also has the web browser uh, version and the plugins as well, uh, which means and I actually did this just before this call. I said, OK, we need to plan out our meals for the week. So I asked it to come up with a meal plan. I was very specific. What? I said, <laughs> I know it was it was amazing, but oh I said, goodness. you know, I don't want any seafood because I just don't like how it tastes. Yeah. I don't want any Brussels sprouts because I don't like how it tastes. I don't want any asparagus. And, you know, I was kind of specific about here's what oh. I don't want. And then I said, I want foods that are low on the glycemic index, uh, that are heavy in protein, um, and that are easy and fast and quick to make. And so it came up with a meal plan for six days for me, uh, cause uh, almost oh. people want to eat. and not only did it do that, but then once that was done, I said, okay, now give me the grocery list. So it gave me the grocery list. And then I used the plugin what? version to, <laughs> I know, I know. Then I used uh. the plugin version to when, or to, uh, upload that grocery list into Instacart. It mm -hmm. picks it out immediately. I didn't have to like scroll through and look for stuff, which is so good because when I scroll through and look for stuff, I'm like, oh, I could also add these other 19 things that I don't need at all. Yeah, so true. Um, and so then that was it. I just could, I mean, after that, all I had to do was choose a few replacements in case they were out and um, press, press pay and that's it. Uh, and so in less than five minutes, I was able to come up with a healthy meal plan that met all of my dietary restrictions, which 
is challenging. If you've ever had, or if any, you know, if anybody listening has ever had type two diabetes, I'm gluten-free, like all, all these other ridiculous, and I don't like seafood, like all these other ridiculous restrictions, mm-hmm. um, that usually would take me a really long time and like 30,000 Pinterest pins and websites that I have to scroll for a million years to get to the actual recipe. And like, it just takes so long and so much energy. But with this, I was able to do that, get the grocery list and order the re- the groceries. Like they could be here in the next 30 minutes, all in five minutes or less. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> That is so cool. You could probably even use it to sell a meal plan. I always see meal yeah. planning services. Like in our group, there's actually this lady that has a meal planning service and earns millions of dollars a year off it, you know? Yeah, you absolutely. Could so definitely like just that. use it for that. Mm-hmm. But I think she also uses like nutritionists and, and like doctors on staff, you know? Yeah. So there's no substitution for that. <laughs> right. I think that's going to be the big difference too, is like that specialized nature of it. Um, and I think it's why we still need like business coaches and things like that, because we need somebody that can look at the plan and say, yes, this is a good plan or no, 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 this is not a good plan. Um, somebody that has that specialized training, but as a starting point, I think using AI, using chat GPT specifically is such a fantastic idea. I really need to try that. Cause like, you don't know how many times like everybody gets home and I go, what do we eat for dinner? We just look exactly. at like, I don't know what, what to make. And you can probably yep, you, like, exactly. say compose a meal based on these ingredients and, and yeah. like would give it to give the ingredients. And they'll say, Oh, you can make this. You can make this. You can make this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or if you get home and you're like, you know what? We don't want to cook. Uh, you can, there's a plugin for open table and you can make a reservation right from chat GBT based on what you want to eat. And so it could be, I could say something like, I want to eat at a restaurant that has gluten-free options. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't have seafood and it would find me that and help me book a table right from there. Oh my God. I did not know there's only chat GBT, um, four does that only. Uh, yeah. So the paid version. Uh, so if you have the paid version, you can start using that right now. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to sign up for that. I got like first, I didn't really think there was any value, yeah. but I know it could do so much. Oh yeah. It's much faster too. So if you're in the flow, you're on a roll and you don't want to lose that flow, it's definitely faster and easier to have GPT for, you know, uh, the paid version of chat GPT. So tell us about your membership, the AI Copy Club. Yeah, so we wanted it to, uh, well, actually, let me step back, I guess, a second. I'm a former middle school science teacher. So years and years ago, I was in teaching. My dad taught for 37 years. And I've had the, I've had the interesting opportunity to see different schools uh, in charter schools and public schools and private schools and all these different schools and, and whatnot. And I've been able to see the impact that accessibility has on somebody's ability to get a get a leg up to get ahead Mm -hmm. and the students that I taught that had uh, more accessibility to the internet for example uh, it was easier for them to research it was easier for them them to find things and as I see AI becoming such an integral piece of our society and of our daily lives I think it's going to be the same thing the people that have access to it that know how to use it are going to be the ones that are able to thrive a lot faster the folks that wait on it um, I, I really think they're going to be kicking themselves in the future here. And so when we kind of dreamed up this idea for AI Copy Club, I said I wanted something that was as affordable as possible and understandable as possible. Mm-hmm. And so I called on my, my teaching skills for the understandable part. Uh, and then for the affordable part, we were like, all right, what can we what can we add to this um, so that this is sustainable for us, but also super, super helpful for everyone else. So we have trainings in there, uh, trainings like how to use AI to create your social posts, your emails, your blog posts, uh, your LinkedIn articles, your podcast episodes, your uh, YouTube script, your book, like anything you can think about from a marketing or visibility standpoint, we've we've thought of it (laughs) and we've added it in there. Um, And then we thought, okay, well, we have these trainings. Um, What else do we need to add in? So we looked at platform resources, like how to use ChatGPD, how to use... uh, um, uh, the cast magic, uh, piece of it. The, um, if you're doing like high ticket sales, how to use, uh, crystal nose or humantic AI, um, to have a better understanding of who you're pitching to. And so we did resource platforms like that. And many, many others, we also have additional resources like, um, where you can submit a question if you're wondering how something can work for your business, um, or also implementation calls so that we can actually go through something you're stuck on together and help you figure it out. And you get to see that back and forth and what it looks like uh, to, to prompt chat GPT um, and different AI tools. Uh, and then on top of that, we also have case uses, like how to use it as somebody that has a digital product shop or that's running a PLR shop. Uh, we have recipes like how to run a challenge in 30 days using chat GPT and what prompts to use. Mm-hmm. And so we thought, all right, 
this is, and we have just tons of prompts, tons and tons of prompts that you can search for really easily. And we thought, all right, this is amazing. How, what's the lowest that we can do to um, make it accessible to as many people? And so we landed on $9 a month for all of that. Uh, right. <laughs> I know. That's which like, I, so, I, we so keep getting little. feedback from people that are like, are you sure? Are you sure? I can? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we really wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to get started because I think it's going to have such a big impact on their business and their life. Uh, and I just want, I just want to see people thriving. And I think this is a way to do it. Wow. That, that's such an affordable price. Uh, do you think you'll ever raise it or just keep it at that price? I don't know. Um, we've thought about it. Uh, maybe eventually we'll raise it. Um, we, I had thought, well, you know, maybe a year, maybe six months. And so we're coming up on six months now. So I have to start deciding soon, uh, but we might push it to a year. We'll see. But um, yeah, we wanted to get as many people started as quickly as possible. Well, that, that was just amazing. There's just so much value in that. I, I can't believe I'll have to sign up myself. Cause I, I, sometimes I have trouble, you know, coming up with stuff like prompts and everything and, and also like copy. Cause uh, yeah, I do like, I tend to like, like writing copy, but you know, it can be so hard to write it for sales pages. You're like, Oh, oh no. Like, what do I say? You know, you get writer's block and it could be a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that definitely helps with that. Yes. Yeah, so what, what do you what rec recommend someone do that's new, new to AI? Like where, where should they, they turn to? I mean, besides AI Copy Club, the first thing to do is really just get started and start playing around with it. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get in there and you might ask it a question or you might ask it to do something and you don't get the exact thing that you want. And so when that happens, get the uh, give it feedback and go back and forth. Say, I really like this. I don't like this. Or actually, I said I want you to do this, but I want you to do this instead. Or if you're not even sure what to ask it, say, I'm a business owner who does X, Y, and Z for who your audience is. Um, how can I use ChatGPT in my business? And it can give you a list of ways that you can use it. So what, what would you say to someone that, that's like, it's really scared about it, that, that doesn't, it's kind of unsure about AI and doesn't think it's right for them or their business? I definitely understand that. I felt that way at first too, where I was like, oh man, I like, is this going to be the Terminator kind of situation? Like, I oh, know, yeah. is this... <laughs> I'll yeah, is this, uh, <laughs> is this something that's going to be okay for me to use? Yeah. Um, and ultimately what I realized is it's not going away. And it's been, it's been around for a long time. People have been using AI. And honestly, you probably use AI in your business or uh, with somebody else. And you just didn't even realize it was AI because it's just something we use all the time. Um, and so I would say, do obviously do what you're comfortable with. If there's something you're not comfortable with, don't do it. But um, I don't think that it's going to be going away. I, I think that even in like the next five, 10 years, it's just going to be part of our daily life. I mean, probably less than that even, but it's going to be to the point that it's such a part of our daily life. Um, in my opinion, I would use it now as much as possible so that if you feel so compelled to go offline, you feel so compelled to uh, be less uh, use it less then you at least have gotten started. You've made any kind of money that you need to make from it and you can scale back a little bit. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I just don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's one of those inevitable things where everybody has a cell phone. You people used to be really scared about that. Um, yeah. Everybody has a car. People used to be really scared of that. So I think it's just one of those things that uh, it's not, it's just not going anywhere. Yeah, I so agree. There's lots of big companies like Google and others that are jumping on it. And I think it's in Google developing their own AI. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I saw a presentation like from our group and they, uh, they had like, like all this stuff you could do with uh, they improved Google drive and all that, all this, that Google suite of products. And you could like type in, you know, it, it like Google pre presentation or whatever it's called. And then you mm -hmm. just type something in and it creates a whole presentation for you. And then you could give it to your company. It's just it's so crazy. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Okay. Well, well, thanks so much for being on here. I'll definitely, you know, share your, the link of the AI copy club. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we, we end today's call? The biggest thing is just get started, get started today, start using it um, and see how it can work for your business and for you. Oh, great advice. Well, thanks so much, Brittany, for being on, on the Becky Beach podcast. You can go to the show notes at mindbeach.com forward slash podcast. And I'll have a link to join the AI Copy Club there. Well, thanks so much again for being here, Brittany. Thanks for having me. Okay, bye, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to The Becky Beach Show. Please go to mombeach.com forward slash podcast to learn more about my podcast and for show notes. If you want a printable goal planner, please go to mombeach.com forward slash subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye.